1994 Gangstar song Mass Appeal is a joke. S sorry, that's not an insult. That's what DJ Premier called it. Look, it was recorded as a joke. We just wanted to make fun of the radio on what it sounded like to get airplay. I was making fun of the radio, but I'm gonna make a funky version of making fun of it. See, it's a joke. Mass appeal is elevator music. Whoa, again, not an insult. These are Premier's words, look. I kept telling Guru, yo, hip hop don't sound like it used to. It sounds like elevator music. So that's where I was looking for sounds that would sound like you were in an elevator. It's a joke, it's elevator music. Mass Appeal is Gangstar playing the radio game and winning, but doing it their way. This was one of the biggest hits, but it's also a level up for the group, a level up for DJ Premier, and another classic example of DJ Premier's production perfectly matching the lyrics. Though in this case, it's inverted. Today I'm diving deep into the Gangstar song Mass Appeal, the story behind it, finding another layer to this joke, recreating the beat, and seeing how this elevator joke song and album set up DJ Premier to be one of the best hip hop producers of all time. Oh, I've also got a cool thing to announce, so stick around for that. Just before recording 1994's Hard to Earn, Gangstar felt like they were being pigeonholed as jazz rap. This was a term Guru especially hated, and while Premier admits he did use a lot of jazz samples in his previous production, for the next album, he decided to get outside of that box. This album incorporates much more eclectic sounds, soul records, spacey sounds, and while there are jazz samples on this record, it's much more of a jazz rock fusion sound. We'll get into the samples in a minute, because what Premier did is pretty clever, but the point here is this. This jazz rap label lit a fire under Premier. He wanted to prove himself, prove Gangstar, and show that they could do anything, sample any genre, and make it feel right. The result was the 1994 album Hard to Earn, which is an incredibly influential album, not only because it's Gangstar at the top of their game, but because all of the production on this album is incredible, and that led to more opportunities for Premier. Uh, but we'll come back to that in a second. Do you know the composer John Williams? Even if you think you don't, you do. He's the film composer behind incredible movie soundtracks like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, Jaws, Superman, E.T., Saving Private Ryan, oh, Sabrina, underrated score and movie, Home Alone, Harry Potter, so many more. John Williams has the ability to write incredible themes, weaving them together with the orchestra so it complements what's happening on the screen perfectly. Nothing quite sounds like John Williams. I think you see where I'm going with this. DJ Premier is basically the John Williams of hip hop. He's not only produced some of the biggest hip hop songs and albums ever, he also has an incredible ability to find and flip incredible samples, chopping up drums like only he can, scratching lyrics from other songs to form a chorus hook, and complimenting what the MC is saying perfectly. Nothing quite sounds like DJ Premier. I've explored this idea in other videos, but Premier said himself, it's all about making a match with what the MC is doing. I'm like a tailor. I can tailor the suit to fit what you want. It can't be just beats and lyrics. It has to be beats and lyrics intertwined, like when you clasp your hands together. I don't know if you caught that, I was setting that up a second ago. For Gangstar in this album specifically, Guru wrote the song titles first, putting them all on a wall with a little summary of what the song was gonna be below it. He'd get to work writing the verses and Premier would get to work making the beats, keeping in mind the focus of the song. By writing the music and the lyrics at the same time, this put Premier and Guru on the same page. And the note below Mass Appeal said first single. All right, I gotta show you something. You ready for this? Bam! Uh-oh, uh-oh, bam! That's right, custom digging the great slip mats. These have actually been under here for a while and you had no idea. You can get your own by going to diggingthegreats.com or clicking the product link below this video. These slip mats will class up your turntable setup. They've got a slippery bottom, so they're great for DJs, but they also work for just listening to vinyl. Now, here's the thing. I'm not gonna do a cheap print on demand thing and you get it in the mail and you go, wow, you really just printed a logo on this. These are high quality slip mats and I'm sending them to you personally. Seriously, they're all sitting in my house right now, just waiting to be sent out into the world. Now, that's the other thing. I'm shipping these to a ton of countries worldwide, so there's a good chance you can get one. However, I have a very limited quantity to start, and they're probably gonna go quick. So if you want one, go get one. Diggingthegrace.com or click the product link below this video. Right, so I already gave you the quotes at the beginning, but basically, Gangstar felt that as hip hop grew in popularity, radio was watering it down getting away from the sound and the message in exchange for stuff that would sell well, and to Premier's ears, this sounded like elevator music. You know, the kind of stuff that's so easy listening, you kind of bob your head, but it's not memorable enough to want to hear again? It gets you to your floor and then you forget about it. 
So to play with this, Premiere decided to make something that sounded like elevator music, but a funky version, a DJ Premiere version. He's making fun, but he's also still gonna make it sound good. The first element to this is a sample from an easy listening jazz fusion album from the 80s. Now, I went back and forth on this section of the video because Premiere has specifically spoken out against sample snitching in the past or doing exactly what I'm about to do, showing the original sample that may not be cleared and how it was used in one of his productions. Actually, that's another similarity. John Williams also hates sample snitches. I'm conflicted about this because I understand both sides. I don't want Premiere getting sued because of me, but at the same time, the work he does is incredible and there's a lot to learn about the science and art of what he does. Also, even if I don't name the sample right now, a quick Google search will return like a thousand results naming the original record. Me naming or not naming it is not gonna matter much. Here's the original record that DJ Premier sampled. <laughs> Did you catch it? That's it right there. It's so brief. It's coming out of a guitar solo. It's the first few notes of the keyboard solo. Premiere's taken this, pitched it down, and between those notes and the chord underneath, yeah, it sounds like elevator music. One layer of this joke is that Premiere is going, oh, you want elevator music? Well, here you go. But there's another layer here. Remember the Gangstar felt pigeonholed by being called jazz rap because Premiere used so many jazz samples. Well, this sample is from a softer jazz fusion record. So rather than moving away from jazz, in this case, he's actually moving deeper into it, leaning into the criticism while also leaning into the elevator aspect. But the end result is anything but boring. For the drums, Premiere has said himself, this is from the EPMD song, You're a Customer, specifically the dub version that has less vocal and more exposed drums. Here's the original. Now, I want you to notice something. Those snares land on two and four and the kicks are starting on one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But of course, you know Primo, he's not just gonna loop that. This kick pattern is two repeating 16th notes and on the original, it lands on one and the E of one. But what Premier is doing is shifting those same two kick drums back. So it's on the and of four and the uh of four. But crucially, the snare is still on two and four. So to recreate this, I've got a few different kick points. This is my double kick drum, this is hi-hat, this is a snare, and this is a single kick drum. All right, I'm gonna play the original EPMD drums and then I'm gonna chop it like Premier did for Mass appeal. The kick pattern is going to change, but the snare stays the same on two and four. So what I want you to do is clap on two and four. Do it. Here we go. You hear the difference there? Snare staying the same, kick changes everything. Now let's add on top of that. Lyrically, Guru is criticizing other rappers, their rhymes, and their eagerness to get a record deal. So eager that they'd sell their soul to get mass appeal. So the pairing of lyrically critiquing other rappers, saying they can't rhyme, all over a beat that's straight up making fun of them, that's incredible. Premier is pairing the words and the music perfectly, but in this case, he's inverted. Guru's energy is like, nah, man. And Premiere musically is like, bink, 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 bink. that's you. That's what you sound like. Except Gangstar's song is actually great. This song also has bass from engineer Joe Quinn on it. It's real simple, just adding some simple low notes to thicken up the bottom end of the elevator sound. And then there's DJ Premier's Scratches. This comes from the song Pass the Mic by the Youngsters. DJ Premier has an incredible YouTube series called So What's Up, where he breaks down some of his productions. And for this one, he specifically shouts out the Pete Rock remix of this song. DJ Premier is taking this phrase, money's growing like grass with a mass appeal, and scratching it to create a chorus hook. Guru's got the verses, but Primo's got the hook. All right, let's put all of these ingredients together and see what the John Williams of hip hop cooked up. Like 
But all of this gets even funnier. Mass Appeal was the biggest hit from Hard to Earn, which helped the album do well, helped Gangstar do well, and brought more attention to DJ Premier's production in the process. They made this song to poke fun at the music on the radio, and it ended up being a huge radio hit. This helped propel the rest of the album as well, which is incredible. It's Guru and Premier pushing themselves to be better than their critics. And while DJ Premier had produced for many other artists before this album, after Hard to Earn, Premier hits another level, producing for Nas's Illmatic, J. Ru the Damages, Sun Rises in the East, Biggie, Jay Z, D'Angelo, solidifying Gangstar and DJ Premier's sound in the process. One of the songs Premier produced off Illmatic was New York State of Mind. This song is incredible because between the bass line that plays with the conventions of traditional music theory or the sampling style of the drums, it matches what Nas is saying perfectly. Oh, but for that whole story, you gotta click here. Also, diggingthegrace.com, get your slip mat. They're gonna go fast. Diggingthegrace.com, link below. Don't say I didn't warn you.